Why don't yeah. I do pick a card? All right. So for those people who are new, basically all you need to do is think of a situation where you would like some guidance from the angels. Just one. And then choose a number, one, two, or three. And I'll give you some guidance. Hey. Okay, so you've got your situation, you've got your number. If you've chosen number one, send your energy to me now. If you've thought of uh, option two, send your energy to me now. Option one, stop. Oh, that's it. Thank you. And then option three. Sorry, I had a jumper then. I was going to ignore it, but I'll keep that. Option three. If you've chosen option three, send your energy now. Wow. Good lively tonight, these cards. Okay, so if you chose option one then, I need you to just make sure everything's in balance. Whatever your situation is, make sure it's balanced. And if it is balanced, make sure your energy is balanced. There's something about getting this balance. And once the balance comes in, the universe balances everything else. It seems you're putting things out of balance in whichever area of your life that you're not in balance. So the universe steps in and brings that karmic justice. The imbalance at the moment is a reflection of what you're doing and what you're feeling. So as soon as you look after it here, then the uh, universe will do the rest. Um, if you've chosen option two, we've got the high priestess. So you might not know everything. You may be coming at your trying to create a solution for your situation without knowing all of the details. And this is not something you can just go and research. This is somebody isn't quite being truthful or they're not playing the whole hand of their cards, if you like. Um, there's something that will be revealed, don't get me wrong, but you just don't know it yet. And as soon as that last thing is revealed, everything falls into place. So because it's a, a, a major arcana, the high priestess, I think the universe is involved. And so it's divine timing is at hand as well here. So don't try and rush anything. Realise there's not much more you can do right now. I mean, spend some time crossing the T's and dotting the I's if you've got some time. Uh, but it's once this factor is revealed then everything else will fall into place okay so the very last one then option three if you chose option three you've got the seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles you can see he's planted his seeds and he's waiting for them to grow so this is always the card of hang on it won't take long and by hanging on it will be the best solution so you've heard me say this a million times. It's like putting your ingredients together to bake a cake. You would not dream of pulling that cake out and eating it too soon. It'd make you ill. So think of it like that. Again, divine timing is at hand here, but also you want this to be perfect. So give it time. Please don't be impatient. Well, that was pick a card. I hope it helped. 